Thompson and Thompson slaps it in. Coming back to play the puck on defense, Dave Gertz. Gertz working it in behind the net to Wally Weir. And Weir bangs it off the left boards and it's cleared by wrestling down ice. Whalers Brown Chattel guarding his own blue line, flipping to Fenton. Fenton tapping it right on the red line where Lamaru picks it up and pops it in. Coming back to get to it now, Deneen ahead now to Fenton. Right wing Everson, slipper, a high riser. And it's a little too high, goes off the glass behind the net, rebounds far corner. Fenton jamming it up in the corner with Dave Gertz. And now the puck picked off and cleared by Mitch Lamaru. The outlet to Gary Rissling caught up on the skates. Lamaru picks it up. And he wrists one high and wide to the Binghamton net. Around the boards it goes. Right corner. Roger Belanger, their right winger with it. He tried to make a pass in the slot. Cleared out with the defense. And now picked off at the red line. Rissling getting it there. And Gary Rissling backhands in. Coming back to play it. Whalers have control. Peter Deneen. Deneen sliding to center. And now coming back to recover for the skipjacks, Tom Ralston, the former Edmonton Oiler. Steve Carlson deals it ahead to Gatsos. Gatsos at his backhand, missed the short side, and it ends up on Phil Bork's stick. Bork in the far corner, Whaler Ice takes his shoulder from Andre Heaty. We're just underway, opening period, Whalers hosting Baltimore. Now the defense clearing to center ice. Chris Dahlquist on defense for Baltimore getting to it, and he shoots it back down to Whaler territory. Back to play it. Deneen, Deneen clears it up the left wall for Heaty. It rolls the mid-ice, and coming back to play it is Dahlquist on the fence. He can't keep control, and Heaty picking it off down the slot. Weak backhander, and the save stick side by Cooper. At the right point, Eve Baudouin winds up a slapper. Hit Andre Heaty in the back of the leg. It rolls behind the net. Mark Taylor trying to get his centering feet unsuccessful in doing so, and it's Chris Dahlquist on defense for Baltimore. He had it coughed up, and now it's Heaty on the forehand from 10 feet out. The drive blocked by Bork, and then at the point, a follow-up shot. Hammered wide, Whalers Mokasak. Rebounds back to the center ice area, and Andre Heaty has it. Heaty a long shot, sending it right on, and Cooper easily sticking that aside. Now a fight breaks out at center ice. Andre Heaty and the Baltimore Skipjacks, Bill Bork. And they are throwing right hands in center ice. Bork and Andre Heaty standing skate to skate. Heaty trying to wrestle Bork down to the ice, and now both tumble down. And the linesman, Tim McConaughey, and Mike Smith try to separate the two combatants. So our first altercation here between Heaty and Bork. And Bob Hall is standing a couple of feet away from the two skaters and making sure that Nothing else develops out of that. All four skipjack penalty to number 28, Phil Bork. Five minutes for fighting. Make up for Lambert's penalty to number 21, Andre Heaney. Five minutes for fighting. Down to the penalties. Now both get majors, each five for fighting at 2-12 of the hockey game. So nobody has to play shorthanded. Off the draw, Skip Jacks have it. And veteran Glenn Sharpley works it across the line to Gill. Gill, a long shot from his off wing, the left side. And it sails into the far corner. Whaler is clear. And up the right boards, defender Timo Bloomquist. And as he cuts in, there's an interference penalty dealt out. As Brian Erickson was knocked to the ice by Atherins on Sunday, he's at left point. Jack Brown shot of the right point man. And up front, Erickson at right wing. Newberry the center. And on the left side, Grant Martin. Baltimore wins the draw. It's pulled back to the right defense, and Greg Hotham shoots it down ice. Back in the Whaler end now. Evans winds it ahead on right wing to Erickson. Erickson at the red line. Into Newberry, and as he cuts into the attacking zone, they draw John Newberry in sharply. And the drop pulled to Grant Martin. Back to Newberry. And now into the Whaler zone. It's handled by Daryl Evans. Evans cutting deep into his own end. Whaler power play in effect a minute and a half more. Out of the center ice area, Newberry shooting it in. Around the boards it goes and played behind the net by Wally Weir. Weir can't clear at the point. Evans along that left wall for Grant Martin. Now taken away by Hotham on defense and fired up and out by veteran Steve Carlson, their co-captain of the skipjack team. Whalers regroup in their own zone. Jack Brownshadow has possession. Brownshadow looking to come out with it. Here comes Brownshadow cutting to center, and he dumps it in. Cooper leaving it for his defense. And at left defense, Wally Weir works it into the corner and can't clear it. Newberry holding into Brownshadow. And now kept in the zone by Evans. He tried to make a pass down the slot, but it's picked off by Weir. Here comes Big Wally Weir, his slapper, a stick deflected wide by Brown Scheidel, who recovered and got back into his own end and got a piece of that drive from Weir. 
Down to 40 seconds remaining in the row. Interference penalty. Whalers nothing. Skipjacks nothing. Now Erickson cutting in. Erickson down the slot. Erickson Arister Cooper the stick save. He steers that to the right corner. Fenton trying to dig it out. Now at the point, it's played by Brad Shaw. Back to Erickson at the right point to Evans. Evans a little soft wrist try that's handled by Lamaru knocking it down and then wristing it up and out. That leaves time for one more Whaler rush on the power play down to 10 seconds in the man advantage. Thus far, no damage done. At the red line, Whalers have it. Here comes Everson cutting in. Everson on the right boards. Dahlquist poked it free. Lamaru clearing it. And that kills the penalty as Sidorkovic had to come out and bang it up the right wing. Back on row. Whalers could not score on the power play edge. Nothing, nothing here. Five minutes into the game. Now Yves Baudouin back at the enemy blue line shooting it behind the skipjack net. Into the near corner it goes, and Gary Rissling winds up and fires it down ice right on, forcing Sidorkovic to make the stick stop, leaving it for his defense. Now Brad Shaw starting out with it. Shaw to the red line, moving it back to center ice for Everson. He poked in, but Dahlquist at left defense there to clear. Now Shaw back for it. Shaw throwing it in. He and Mark Patterson teamed on defense. Patterson coming off a bad ankle. Did not see duty in the weekend action. Now Jeff Cooper trying to play the puck behind the net. Gets into some trouble. Gets some help from veteran Greg Hotham. And Cooper was unsure what to do momentarily. He covered up, then looked for... And out at center is Colin Chin, a rookie in this Pens organization. He could not win the draw, and Bloomquist pulls it back to the slot area, but Rowe is there on defense to break up the play, clearing it to Bob Airy. And Airy has been a big... As we come back to action, Mark Patterson is called for interference down at the left circle on Whaler Ice as he sends Baltimore arc of our first period. So Baltimore at center. He has at the right wing Tom Ralston and the left side Steve Gatsos. We are left point and the right side Dave Gertz. The face off to Gertz. Now back to Gatsos to try deflected wide by Carlson from the slot. Jack Brownshuttle backhands a rebound to the right boards. And the battle for control is on there, and Everson banking it off the boards, clearing it down ice. That kills 20 seconds in the Patterson penalty. If you're just joining us, there is no score. Opening period with 13.25 left in it. Here comes Tom Ralston down the right wing. Ralston shooting it back behind Sidorkovich. He lets it go by him behind the net. And now handled by Steve Carlson. Carlson at the far side of the cage. Back at the point to Gertz. Back to Steve Carlson. Carlson keeping control of the puck at the right circle in Whaler Ice. Now to Ralston. Ralston down the slot. Back at the left point to Weir. His slapper. And he scores! It appeared to deflect in off Jack Brownshattle in front. And the shot from the Baltimore takes a 1-0 advantage. Brownshattle stick or the leg of Sidorkovich. Wally Weir. Credit for the goal. Ralston and Carlson getting assists on that power play goal. So it's 1-0 Baltimore. They convert on the power play. Skipjacks have it off the draw on Rob Geel coming down ice. Geel working it back down on the right wing, and he sends Glenn Sharpley into Whaler territory. But there's an offside. It. And Baltimore leads the Whalers 1-0 at a power play goal from Wally Weir at 6.58 of this hockey game. Skip Jacks control the faceoff. Greg Hotham, the right defender, he rolls it in. Coming back to play at Sidorkovich, and he bangs it back into the near corner. And a battle for control is on there. The Skip Jacks have it. Dean DeFazio, the left wing. DeFazio shooting it back behind the cage. Sidorkovich there, tapping it away from Giel. And Evans tried to clear the zone, could not. Now John Newberry, a dangerous move, skating in front of his own net, but he gets away with it. 
And he taps it back on the right wing. Mokasak trying to get the handle there. And sharply stepped in, stole it. Mokasak knocked him down. A penalty here for holding against Whaler defender John Mokasak. So the Whalers possible clean break on that. And Mokasak goes for the penalty. So he leaves at 8.01 of the period. The minor for holding, and it's another power play for the Baltimore Skipjacks. They lead 1-0 on the Weir power play goal. And now the draw at the left side, where glove hand side to Peter Sidorkovich. And Mitch Lamro, the center, out against Whaler center, Grant Martin. Face off control by the Jackson Hotham, unloads one. That's over the Binghamton net and off the glass. Around the wall it goes, Phil Bork at left defense, back to Hotham, now to Bork, and Bork unloads a drive, but he scores! Bork under the glove hand of Sidorkovich, and right in front was the man who only... On the faceoff, it comes back to Baltimore Territory, and played on defense by the Skipjacks' Chris Dahlquist. It's stolen by Mark Taylor. And now a whaler upended in front. That was Grant Martin, who was cross-checked to the ice. And a penalty here against Baltimore. So now. If you penalty, number 28, Bill Ward. Two minutes for cross-checking at 827. It's a power play for the Whalers, and Bork is off for cross-checking at 827. This is the second power play chance for Binghamton tonight. On the face-off, Skip Jacks have it, and Colin Chin is able to clear the zone, flipping it down ice. Whalers regroup on their own zone. And now the Whalers shoot it back down to Baltimore Ice where defender Dave Gertz gets it. And it's played back around the board. Shaw, the right point man, holding in to Andre Heaty. Now to Taylor, try to walk out in front. Good defensive move by Gertz, who blocked that with a leg. At the right point, Shaw to hold in. He shoots it along the right boards. Andre Heaty digging for it, but he can't contain it as Bob Airy on the shorthanded crew reaches in and fires it down ice. In the Whaler zone on defense. It's taken by Bradshaw. And Shaw leaving it now for Daryl Evans. Here comes Evison to center. Evison skating in, dropping to Mark Taylor. Taylor, former Maine Mariner, Pittsburgh Penguin. He's had some time with the Caps last year. Now to Evison. Evison in behind the Baltimore net, falls down, trying to get a pass to Taylor. It rolls weakly along the boards, and Bloomquist, the right point man, could not hold in. Here comes Airy. An area wrist try, but getting back to block that shot, Daryl Evans. Now Timo Bloomquist starts it out again. A half minute to go in the Bork penalty. Center ice area, Fenton tipping it in, and he was a stride. Beer and Bork, and they are up by a couple. On the drop, it comes to Greg Hotham, and Hotham shoots it down ice. Sidorkovich there, leaving it for Timo Bloomquist. We're down to 20 seconds in that Bork penalty. Here come the Whalers out. Everson carries to center. Everson flipping it in. Jeff Cooper, the skipjack goaltender, bangs it back to the right boards. Whalers have control. Fenton, left point, Brown Shuttle. Cross ice, Bloomquist, slapper, leg pad saved by Jeff Cooper. And it's taken back to the far corner by Fenton. Power play now over. And Brown Shuttle's try blocked as Cooper covers up in front. And it went off a Whaler. And, that, and on the faceoff, it comes back to the right defense, and Gertz gets it for the Skipjacks. Dave Gertz throwing it in. Sidorkovich leaving it for his defenders. Yves Baldwin tried to make a clearing move. He could not. Weir's try. It was a crazy shot. Took one hop and then bounced like a baseball off the AstroTurf up into the air. And one. Eight minutes, 50 seconds to play. Period one. 
And Baltimore on two power play goals, leading Binghamton to zip. Whalers moving in this first period as we view the play from our left to right. And the Whalers have control, and here they come. Moving back to center ice, John Newberry. Newberry bounces one in. Tom Ralston comes back for it. Ralston swings it behind the net and then clears it back down ice under the stick of Yves Baudouin. And racing back to play it is Baudouin deep in his own zone. Baudouin working it back to the neutral territory where Grant Martin gets it. Martin backhands it in. It's a one hopper and that's smothered by Cooper who comes out it is Mark Patterson. Grant Martin on the faceoff against Mitch Lamoureux who spent much of last year with Pittsburgh. Face off to Shaw to Patterson. He unloads a drive at the point, and that's rifled wide. At the right point now, Shaw off to the right circle. Penalty coming here against the Skipjacks. The lay call. Martin swings it wide, and the Whalers keep control. Patterson holding it in to Taylor. Taylor at the right point to Shaw. Shaw soft, trying to pass it to Rissling type of pass, and uh, he was uh, blocked by Rissling. He Baltimore. Kill. That'll be what we'll be covering uh, between Perbigans 1 and 2. Some New men behind the benches in some of the AHL cities. Whalers on the faceoff. Brown Scheidel gets it. All right, the faceoff controlled sharply, winning it back to Hotham. And now Steve Carlson able to clear the zone. Back in the Binghamton end, Brown Scheidel. He steers it ahead to Mark Taylor. Taylor, out of the University of North Dakota, former NCAA Player of the Year. Now Carlson takes it on left wing and shovels it back to Whaler Ice. Brown Scheidel ahead to Andre Haiti. Back to the red line to Taylor, and Taylor feeding it on the left boards to Evans, who risks it in. Now back at right point, Brown Scheidel. 120 to go on the power play edge. Taylor, Taylor behind the net. And now Taylor, a feed back to Martin with Bork all over him. Into the far corner. They continue to work for control. Finally, it squirts free to Martin. He centers it. Quick try. Heaney the shot and the save. Cooper. Great save, Cooper Robin. And the drop pulled to Gertz. Gertz tried to clear out, and he does. And that forces the Whalers to regroup at center ice. Shot out of Fenton. Fenton flipping it in. It's blocked, picked off, and then rifled down ice by Wally Weir. In the Whalers zone. Coming back for it, Brad Shaw. And Shaw starts out with it. Leading it now up the right wing. Played by Everson. And recovered by Chin, the penalty killer for Baltimore. He backhands it in. Whalers Erickson to the red line, throwing it across into the attacking zone for Dean Everson. Closing seconds now of the Whaler power play. Down to 10 seconds in the Lamaru minor. Whalers down to zip and moving into the zone. Baudouin to Erickson. On the left wing is Rister from 30 feet out, sails wide. Now cleared out by Rissling. Back on Lamaru, and the power play is over. Thus far, Whalers over three with a man advantage. Lamaru centering it, but picked off by Binghamton's Everson. He is in behind his own net and tries to move away from Rissling. Now they're joined by Rob Guillaume and Yves Baudouin. Guillaume pries it away from Baudouin. Quick try in front by Sharpley. Kicked out by Sidorkovich from 10 feet away. Now it's banged up and out by the defense and taken at center ice by Hotham. Moving back in on right wing. Lamoureux, his wrister in full flight. The blocker saved by Sidorkovich. A shot on the rebound by Rowe off the backboards. Ends up on the back. Five minutes to play in this opening period, and the Whalers have control off the draw. Chris Brandt coming down on left wing. Brandt centers it, but back is Hotham. And as Hotham intercepts the pass, there's an interference call. Good scoring chances when they've had the man edge. Baltimore's done a good job killing off the penalties, and when they have given up a shot, it has been the one shot and not the rebound attempt. Martin off the drop behind the Baltimore net. 
Now the Skipjacks look to clear, and they do. Banged up and out by Wally Weir. He has gotten all kinds of ice time for Gino Briaco here in the first period. Whalers in their own end, Daryl Evans. Here comes Evans moving left to right. Outlet for Taylor. Taylor trying to work it in, but Weir is there to block his path. Now Shaw right on the red line. Brad Shaw left wing in for Taylor. Back to Grant Martin. Try to center, but too high for Heaty. It went off his arm and then in behind the net. Now Heaty try to center, does, but Carlson blocked it. Now a drive at the point by Shaw, blocked again by Carlson. Good work by Shaw, hustling back to the line to hold him. Play continues. It's Evans. He fakes his shot, and Carlson stepped in front of that, got a piece of it. Now Shaw moving it back down, drive from the point. Stick save by Cooper. And the rebound then hammered out by defender Phil Bork with 58 seconds to go in the Sharpley penalty. 3.40 left, opening period. Baltimore leads 2-0. Whalers on the power play. Here they come, moving across center, Everson. Everson now dropping to Fenton. Fenton unable to keep control of the puck. It's cleared by Colin Chin. Back to Airy. And Bob Airy rolling it down the Whaler territory. Back deep in the Whaler zone, Eve Baldwin. Baldwin works it to Evans, and Evans goes cross ice to Everson. Dean Everson for the Whalers across the line for Fenton. Now to Baldwin, rolling it down the right circle, picked off, and then flipped up and out by Greg Hotham. 20 seconds to go on the man edge. Whalers have not looked good thus far on the power play. And the shorthanded crew of the Skipjacks has looked very impressive. Now Everson shooting it in. Erickson behind the net. Brian Erickson centers it, but Airy is right there to pick it off and clear. That kills a Sharpley minor. He is back on. And the Skipjacks have killed off another. They retain the 2-0 lead. Now Fenton directs it back to the attacking zone where Phil Bork gets a handle. Bork ahead to Rissling. Gary Rissling back at the red line, directing it in. Here comes Roger Belanger. On the near wall, it's taken by John Newberry and then cleared to center ice. Dirt scats it, and Jack Brownshadow has possession. Brownshadow tapping it back on left wing. Bloomquist sends it in off Newberry's stick, and Cooper swings it away from the onrushing Newberry. Back into the near corner. They jam up for control, and Bork is in on the action with Newberry. Now Lamoureux tried to clear, but he can't get it by Thompson. Finally does, and wrestling takes over. Skip Jacks Bork getting it back and throwing in. And as he does... All right, we have two minutes to go in this period. Baltimore with control, and Steve Gatso said the puck at the right wing at the red line, however, lost it. And it shot back down into the Baltimore zone, where Greg Hotham retreats for it. Hotham working it up on the near wall, but Taylor gets it. Mark Taylor bangs it back around the boards. Jeff Cooper, their goaltender, leaving it for the defense, played by Wally Weir. Out but not by Peter Deneen. Deneen holding it in at the right point now, taken by Ralston, clear. Deneen getting it back at center ice. And Andre Heaty shoots it off the arm of Tom Ralston. Back in the right corner it rolls. Carlson gets it. He clears it. Everson retreating to his own end. Demokasak. Now at right defense to Dean. A minute to go in the period. Carlson gets it. Rolling in. Mokasak cutting back for it. And Mokasak now carries the puck to center ice. Trying to rifle in. And it went off the arm of Hotham and ends up at center ice. 2-0 Baltimore. Goals from Weir and Bork, both via the power play. 40 seconds now left the period. Bork gets it back to Hotham, and Hotham dumps in. Whaler ice now. Sidorkovich leaving it for his defense. Right wing Thompson. Outlet for Everson. Dean Everson coming across the line. Everson pulling up at the right circle. Still with it. Shooting it in behind the net. Now Cooper comes out. He bangs it back on left wing. And the puck rolling along the wall, and now Fenton going for it, chasing it behind the net. Rob Geel gets it there for Baltimore, and he clears with 10 seconds to play. Jeff Brownshadow pops it back in on one. And the drop comes back to Brownshadow, now to Baudouin. Baudouin, slapper but wide. And the rebound comes back along the board. All right, we're set to roll. And it's Glenn Sharpley out against Grant Martin. Face-off controlled by the Whalers, and Jack Brownshadow shoots in. Back around the boards it goes into the far corner of the Baltimore zone. Martin wrapped up there by a couple of skipjacks, and uh, 
One of those two, Wally Weir, he's able to clear it. Now Rob Geel cutting down on right away. Face off to Martin. Martin rolling it down to the Baltimore zone. The Skipjacks sharply with it. And sharply tossing it to Gertz. Gertz putting it back down near the attacking line. Now DeFazio picks it up. His shot is off a skate in front. Followed up by Geel and he scores! Second period. On the drop, Carlson wins it, flipping it in. It's played by the Whaler defense and cleared out, however, taken by Gatsos. And Gatsos at the left wing is shot that sticked to side of the far corner by Sidorkovich. In the left wing now, Whalers hit possession. John Newberry looking to clear. And Newberry works it up the wall and out. Greg Hotham gets it. Hotham backhands it in. And cutting back after it, Yves Baudouin. Baudouin in behind the Binghamton net. Slides it around the boards and moving out with it is John Newberry. Newberry cutting to center. Newberry dropping to Evans. Evans at the far circle. Backhander. Cooper the stick save. And it rolls back to the far wall. Whalers Erickson to it. Now to John Newberry. Newberry tossing it down the slot. It's intercepted by Hotham. And Hotham winds up his head high drive from the blue line right on. Grabbed by Sidorkovich who leaves it for his defense. Now Erickson wrapped up by the four-checking Tom Ralston. Whaler is looking to clear their zone. And back now at left defense, John Mokasak using the boards, works it ahead to Evans. Back to the center ice area, dumped down ice by Baudouin. And Jeff Cooper moving to his left, taps it to the far boards. Steve Carlson takes it there. Carlson clearing it with Timo Bloomquist in pursuit. Bloomquist skating it down in behind the ding of the net. All right, 2-10 gone, the second period. And action unfolding at center ice. Whalers, Everson for Shaw. And now with Bob Airy. Simpson was with the Islanders organization. He's the older brother of Craig Simpson, the Penguins' recent number one draft pick. All right, the Jacks have it. It's Bork dumping in. And it's played... By Sidorkovich tapping it back on the far wall. Skip Jacks Dahlquist tried to center, but it's blocked with the defense. Everson got a piece of that. And now at the side of the cage, Bob Airy wrapped up by Bloomquist. It comes back along the near circle. And Bork gets it. Bork a wrist try, blocked by Fenton. It rolls on the near wing. Airy met by Everson there. Everson wins that battle. He steals the puck, and here he comes. Everson ahead left wing to Fenton. Slipper on the go and wide. Well, Fenton really rifled one from long range. Now Baltimore able to clear it on the rebound. And back to get possession is Brad Shaw for Binghamton. 16.40 left the second period. We'll have some comments from Hartford General Manager Emil Francis coming up between periods two and three. He'll be talking with Chuck Caton from Hartford about the Hartford Whalers and their fine start. Here at the arena, Baltimore leading Binghamton 3-0. And the skipjacks, Dave Gertz, at the fence with the puck, and he clears his zone, moving it back down to Whaler Ice, where it's recovered by Peter Deneen. Deneen now skating over the red line, and he wrists it in. Off the backboards it goes, played up and out by Gertz, and at center ice again, Deneen is there for the Whalers. His brother Kevin, a fine start, three goals in Hartford's first two games. Now shot down ice, and after it's Gertz, he beats Grant Martin to it. Martin, good check. It's loose in front. Whalers, Taylor, and he shoots, and he scores! Mark Taylor, and he gets to the home. The assist, but Grant Martin was the man who tied up a skipjack defender in the corner, enabling Heaty to get that loose puck and feed it right in front. Good play, Whalers, and they now trail 3-1. to one. Action on the draw, back inside the skipjack zone. And at the point, it comes to Brownscheidel. He unloads one, and Cooper comes out to make the save. <laughs> Taylor face off. John Newberry is headed off for holding. Newberry goes at 4.46 for holding, and Baltimore has their third power play chance of the hockey game. Newberry off for the Whalers, holding at 4.46 of the second. 
On the draw, Baltimore's Lamaru coughed it up to Paul Fenton, and Fenton was face off to Fenton. Fenton, who scored two opening night in Rochester. Some fancy stick handling gets by Rissling, and a pass to Everson, whose turnaround try is stopped by the Baltimore defense, and Bork is up with it behind his own net. Phil Bork, dangerous play, oh, right in front of that net, he coughed it up, and it costs him! Fenton steals it, he shoots and scores! Oh, Fenton! That's his third goal of the year for Paul Fenton. And it comes unassisted. So the Whalers have caught fire and seem to have a lot more life here after a sluggish opening period. Now they've got to go to work and kill off a minute 10 more of that Newberry penalty. Action unfolding in behind the Whaler goaltender, Sidorkovich, and Steve Carlson has it. Carlson trying to make a pass to his linemate Ralston, could not, blocked by Mokasak. Carlson gets it back behind the cage. And the puck rolls into the right corner. It's Gatsos against Taylor. At the right point, Gertz gets it. Slapper off the stick of Taylor, sailing wide. Mokasak cutting back for it. John Mokasak shoots it around the boards, and he fires it by everybody. Coming back after it, Dave Gertz. That leaves a half minute in the new Barry Minor. After a Baltimore goal in the first minute here, Whalers have struck twice, and now try to keep the skipjacks off the board with a power play in effect. Gertz, the right point, at the left side. Pass for Wally Weir. Weir, a wrister, and that's picked off by Brown Shadow, and he clears the zone, leaving 10 seconds on the Newberry penalty. Now Gatsos to center ice. Brown Shadow gets it, and he tries to send in, picked off by Gertz. Already 12.55 to go. Period number two. As you're tuned to Whalers Hockey here on WNBF 1290, Binghamton, New York. And John Newberry out of the box. His minor is expired. He centers it down into the Baltimore zone. And the skipjack defense able to clear. Now dumped in by Martin on the drop. He can't win it. It's pulled at the left point for the skip. That must be at least 18 years of age. So it's a power play for the Whalers who really have started to play much more aggressively here since they got their first goal coming on a play made possible by Grant Martin's forechecking. The goal fired home by Mark Taylor on a feed from Andre Heaty, but Martin the key on the play to nail the Baltimore defender in the corner, creating the loose puck. And that seemed to get the Whalers going here in the second period. We'll see if they can continue it as they hold the man edge. Binghamton winning the faceoff. Shaw gets it. Shaw at the right point. Shaw at the right circle for Daryl Evans. Now to Shaw. His soft one almost fooled Cooper. That was a knuckleball type of a shot. And it was sinking on Cooper. And he face off to his left side again with Steve Carlson on the drop against the Baltimore Skipjacks. Uh, we should say Whalers center, John Newberry. Carlson for the skip jacks at center. Newberry putting it to the far corner for Daryl Evans. At the right point, Shaw to Brown Scheidel. Back to Brad Shaw. At the top of the right circle. Pass to Newberry. Now to Brown Scheidel. He'll feed it to the corner. Pork after it there, but beaten to it by Brian Erickson. Erickson at the left boards, off to Brown Scheidel. Now to Shaw, it jumps off his stick, and the Whalers have to regroup back at mid-ice. And now up with it is John Newberry. 1.15 to go on the row penalty, so that power play for Binghamton continues. Whalers trailing in the game, 3-2. Colin Chin steals it from the Whalers coming in. Newberry had to cut back into his own end for it. That power play has not... Bit effective thus far for Binghamton. A giveaway, and Rissling scores! The Whalers copped it up, trying to be in the right spot at the right time. He is an incredible for you, and he scores shorthanded at 11-10. So Baltimore up 4-2 and a Whaler miscue. Buck was a thrown right up the slot. Easy pickings for Gary Rissling. Eight and a half to go, second period. 
power play continues. And Taylor feeds it down in front of Cooper, who blocked it. And then that defense of the skip jacks able to clear center and Mitch Lamaru firing it up and out. One half minute to go. The row penalty. Baltimore now leads 4-2. Here comes the rushing defenseman Timo Bloomquist to feed to Taylor. Taylor tossing it in behind the net and chased down by Andre Heaty. Heaty at the right point, the Bloomquist. Bloomquist right boards for Heaty. Heaty, a pass to Grant Martin. Now back at the point, the Bloomquist. Martin centers it. Taylor, the point to Baldwin. His drive kicked out by Cooper. And the rebound played by Sharpley cleared. Back on is Rowe, and the power play is over. Whaler is clear there, and Bloomquist tossing it to Taylor. Taylor working it down to the attacking zone, but he gets a check from Dahlquist, and Dahlquist comes up with it. Now Sharpley to center. And at the red line, Rob Geel chasing it down. 7.35 to go, Pippa get two. And a 4-2 skip Jack Lee. Geel moving in. This is WNBF Binghamton, New York. Whalers hockey coming your way from the arena. There is a break. Seven seventeen left second period. Paul Fenton for the Whalers on left wing moving in. At the left boards now he centers it, but uh, Jimmy Thompson, his line mate, was tied up by DeFazio. Good back checking by the winger. Now a penalty coming up, delay call against the Skip Jacks. Whaler is pulls Sidorkovich, the extra skater in the form of Newberry comes on. And now Baltimore gains control in behind the net. There is a hooking penalty, and that stops the play. So a penalty here against Baltimore and DeFazio. So Dean DeFazio goes for the minor. It's a Whaler power play, their sixth power play of the hockey game. With a break in the action, the score, Baltimore four points. Power play time for Larry Plows Whalers. DeFazio called for hooking at 13.04. And the Whalers trail 4-2. Faceoff controlled Binghamton in the Baltimore zone. Dean Everson has possession left corner. At the right point, it's Yves Baudouin. He and Evans the point man. Now, back it comes Everson moving in front. Restoran Cooper, the stick hand save. Evans at the left point. Back for Brian Erickson. Erickson to Dean Everson. Everson along the left wall, a point to Evans. Oh, what a slapper just wide. Getting his first regular season duty. Brian Ford had played the first two games for Baltimore. On the draw, it comes to Greg Hotham. One minute left, the Dean DeFazio minor. Whaler has some golden chances on the power play, but have yet to convert. This is their sixth man advantage. They trail 4-2. Skip Jacks clear the zone. Here comes Shaw back forward ahead to Grant Martin. Martin skating in. And as Martin scored shorthanded. On the faceoff, it comes back to Shaw. Now to Yves Baudouin. And he uh, make that uh, Timo Bloomquist who has it in behind the net. Bloomquist starts out with it. A pass ahead to the red line where Grant Martin wrists in. Now Taylor to Andre Haiti. Action developing in the Baltimore end. To Shaw, point drive. Cooper, the glove save. Off the drop. Comes to Brad Shaw. Now to Bloomquist playing that right point. Time running out on the penalty. Ten more seconds in it. Bloomquist pass to Grant Martin. Back to Bloomquist to Martin. He has drive blocked at a crowd in front. Carlson, a man to finally get control. He clears, and as he does so, DeFazio is back on. So the Skipjacks have killed off another Whaler man advantage situation. Here come the Whalers. Chris Brand at left wing. Rolls it in. Back to get to it is defender Mike Rowe. Rowe eludes a Newberry for check and throws to center. Sharply there. He flips in under the leg of DeFazio, forcing Brown Scheidel to cut in behind his net for it. Brown Scheidel tossing it up but not out is Sharply, the veteran forward holding in. Now to Brown Scheidel. Brown Scheidel down the left boards. He tried to center but blocked there by Phil Bork. It rolls to Bork, and Bork tried to clear. Brant just did hold in. He's out with Newberry and Erickson up at that uh, forward spot. Now Bork and Newberry wrap up along the wall. It's held in the zone by Peter Deneen. And now it rolls in the slot area where Cooper comes out to tap ahead to Gatzos. 4-2 Baltimore leads. Back for it, Bork. Bork. Flipping ahead to Sharpley. Now to Gatsos, who's met right at mid-ice by Brown Shadow. He checks him off the puck. 
And Brandt throws it in. Chris Dahlquist back for it. Throws it far corner. Back out come the Baltimore Skipjacks. And it's played across the line by Sharpley. Sidorkovich to his left for it. Brandt gets it and steers to center. Here comes Newberry. And that looked to be a two-line pass. No call. And now Brandt wrists it right on. And the save by... Roger Neal with you here at the arena with Whalers Hockey coming your way on WNBF 1290. Whalers down 4-2, have the puck in the Baltimore zone with three minutes to play in the second period. Now the Skipjacks able to take it away. Bob Airy, the left winger, he in turn of it stolen at mid-ice by Evans. At the red line, Mokasak to Paul Fenton. Fenton has scored one of the two Whaler goals in the period, the other coming from Mark Taylor. Now Mokasak to Fenton. Here comes Fenton at left wing, a pass to Avison down the slot drive. Nice save, Cooper, as he got that right leg out to bar the door. Rebound steered to center by Baltimore Simpson. At the red line, taken there by Baudouin. He tried to work in, recovered though by the skip Jackson. Here they come, Colton Chin. Chin moving in front, backhander. Nice save, Sidorkovich, and he covers up on the scramble in front. It's 2.19 to go in the second period, and the score, 4-2 in favor of Baltimore. Mitch Lamaru and Grant Martin, the opposing centerman. On the faceoff, it's at the left point to Rowe. All right, a minute and a half to play here in the second period two game. And then a shorthanded goal from Wrestling at 11-10 gave the Skipjacks another two-goal advantage. That's where it stands, 4-2 Baltimore. Action on the faceoff, pulled in behind the Baltimore net this time. And back for it, Evans, off for Newberry. Now take it away in a mad scramble behind the Baltimore net by defender Phil Bork. And there is a stoppage here. We'll see what happened, I think. A uh, pane of glass either got knocked loose or the uh, gate was knocked loose, and that's the case. Down the and the faceoff comes back to Jack Brownscheidel. Brownscheidel winds up and then bangs a shot around the boards into Baltimore ice. And played by their defense, uh, Wally Weir has it, a pass to his winger, Steve Gatzos, with a minute to go in the period. And back out comes Dave Gertz. Gertz could not elude the Whaler defender, Deneen stick check. And now Newberry wrists it in. And <laughs> 47 seconds remaining in period two. And Baltimore winning the faceoff. And Mike Rowe, their left defenseman, shoots it around the boards into Whaler ice. Binghamton's Fenton clearing it, but Hotham is there to pick it off. And the crowd reaction is for the referee, Bob Hall. And on the draw, it's pulled back to Phil Bork. Bork shoots in. Sidorkovich leaves it for the defense. And it's taken by Yves Baudouin. Baudouin in behind his own goaltender with the closing seconds of the second period. We get 18 left to be exact. And Baltimore holding a two-goal edge, four to the score. Skipjacks to Fazio, hounded by Everson, and Dean almost stole it from there, Dean. Dean to Fazio. Erickson at right wing. Daryl Evans on left wing. The defenders, Whalers, Bradshaw, and Timo Bloomquist. Carlson, Ralston, Gatsos, the front trio for the Skipjacks on defense. Wally Weir and Doug Gertz. And we're underway in Caribbean three. Face off controlled by Baltimore. And out, take it away. Whaler Shaw coming in. Slapper and Cooper. Nice stick save. And it's not. All right, the draw sticks out of Cooper out the face off. Newberry floats one high and wide of the cage. Into the corner it goes. Bloomquist taps it behind the net. And the battle for control goes on there. Taken by Greg Hotham. Hotham steers the center and Timo Bloomquist cuts it off. Bloomquist skating back into his own zone. And he's under pressure from Ralston. Ralston tied up on the corner by Shaw. Whalers do very to help out. He gets it to Evans, but he can't clear it. As the puck held in by Greg Hotham. Binghamton Shaw up the right boards. And it's tapped to center. 
Coming back for it, Steve Carlson. Carlson throws in. And here comes Newberry deep to his own zone for it. John Newberry at the far boards, flipping it up and out. Newberry now to the red line. Newberry shooting it in. Oh, and it gets away from Rowe, who tried to get him with a hip. And now we have a stop. Erickson was uh, winded, but looks like he's okay. And back on the Binghamton bench, we resume play with Baltimore up 4-2. to two. And off the draw, it comes to Jack Brownscheidel. Brownscheidel in his own zone, rolling it back to his partner, Peter Deneen. Now Deneen throwing it down wide of their net. And back for it is Gertz, and there's a nice in that ball game in the American League Championship Series. Off the draw, Skip Jacks have it. Wally Weir to wrestling. He tried to roll it down deep to the slot, but Deneen was there to block it. And then clear it up the right boards. Coming back for it is Gertz. Gertz leading it to Gary Wrestling. Wrestling now skating to center. Wrestling maneuvering in, dropping and on the right wing, Roger Belanger. Face off to Jack Brown shuttle. Jack tossing it in. Slides in behind that minder Cooper and now played by Gertz up but not out. Haiti fighting to hold in but could not. Lamru able to get a pace to pop at the center. Now at the red line wrestling. He overskates it. Shot back to the zone by Deneen. And now coming back for it is Gertz. Dave Gertz winding it around the boards. Right wing to Roger Belanger. Belanger skating in behind the net now, a pass to Gertz, and Gertz clearing it, putting it up over the arm of Mark Patterson and down ice where Sidorkovic leaves it for his defense. Today now up the right wall. It's played to the center ice area. Jim Thompson gets it. Thompson skating in. Rister and the save by Cooper. He lost sight of it. And now it's played to the far side of the cage by Bork. Cooper could not see the puck, but Bork was there to help him out. Into the right corner. Taken by Whaler center, Evans. Now recovered by Phil Bork, and Bork in behind his own goal. Bork still with it, skating away from the four-checking Jim Thompson. Baltimore protecting a 4-2 lead. Coming up the left wing, Aaron. Into the zone it goes. And now area wrister on his forehand, but from the slot area it's sent wide. Aaron now wraparound try. He scores! Aaron snuck it. Simpson and Chin getting assists on the play at the three-minute mark. So Binghamton having some difficulties here defensively tonight. And they trail 5-2. All right, the action now in behind the Binghamton. Call now the faceoff set up at the left side of Jeff Cooper. <laughs> and on the drop, Baltimore wins it. Here comes Dean DeFazio, their big left winger. DeFazio throws it in. And, and on the draw, it comes back to Brad Shaw. Shaw to Timo Bloomquist. To Bloomquist at the red line, flipping it in. It comes back behind the net, behind Cooper, and now Giel going forward along with two or three other players in a big jam up. Evans could not get the handle for Binghamton. And finally played by Rowe to center ice. Now Giel coming down the right wing. Swings down wide on that right flank. And good defensive work by Brad Shaw forcing him wide. He could not get a shot off. And now Giel chasing it down along the right boards. A pass deep behind the Binghamton net. It comes back to Rowe. Rowe mishandles it. Could not keep it in. And Brian Erickson, who last time on his uh, previous shift was shaken up. Okay, he's back on the ice. He went for it, uh, could not get it. 5-2 Baltimore. Face off for the knee and his slapper. Tanted shooters on the drop. Comes back to Gertz. And Dave Gertz on right wing to Gatzos. And Steve Gatzos directs in. Inside Whaler Ice. Whaler is Brown Scheidel tied up by Gatzos. They grapple for possession now. Take it in behind the net by Binghamton's Martin. He's knocked down. There's a penalty delay call here against Baltimore. 
And Brown Shadow has control. Whalers try to work it up the wall. Carlson steps in to take it away, and that stops the play. Penalty here against the ball here for the penalty. Whaler power play, their seventh of the game, coming up with a score. Baltimore five, Binghamton two. This is Binghamton Whalers hockey. Well, the penalty is not against Weir, but Carlson. Weir started off, but it's against Carlson, hooking at 4.53. Whalers in the power play for the seventh time, and they are 0 for 6 thus far on it. A key time here for them. They trail 5-2. Whalers have the puck in the Baltimore zone. Down the slot. A score from Taylor. He fires it home. Mark Taylor, backhander, and a power play for the Whalers. A wicked. And the Whalers get on the board via the power play. Assist going to Brown, Shadow, and Shaw on that one. Taylor with that long backhander and a key goal for Binghamton. Now Eric coming down. A from the slot shoots it high and wide. Whaler is trailing 5-3. Still plenty of time on this one for a Whaler comeback. And Binghamton's Everson gets the puck at his own line. Up the left wing to Fenton. He wheels away from Hotham. Fenton forced wide a drive on the angle. And the leg pad saved by Jeff Cooper. Now the slot area. It's fed there by Everson. Picked off by Cooper and cleared to the red line. Whalers try to open things up and they have to be careful. They don't uh, get a little too offensive minded here. Fenton shooting it in. Cooper forced to play it away from the onrushing Dean Everson. On the left boards, here comes Sharpley. Sharpley on the near wall gives it up. And it's uh, taken by Everson. Everson, it's a nice stick handling, but it can't wheel away from Phil Bork. Now, Timo Bloomquist has it. Bloomquist behind the net. Bloomquist at the point. Everson. Everson holding it. A pass to Bloomquist. Bloomquist a drive. Kick save. Cooper in behind the cage. Sharply going for control. Picked up. Erickson centers. And Cooper blocked that. Now cleared up and out by that Baltimore defense. Back to play it is Brad Shaw. 5-3 Baltimore with 13 to go regulation. Shaw flipping it in. Back to get to it is Dave Gertz, and Gertz looks to clear, and he does, to center ice. Here comes Sharply. Two on two, a pass to DeFazio. Instead, he uh, faked the pass and put it right on, and scooped up by... All right, Whalers down 5-3. Jack Brown shadow rushing the puck into the attacking zone. Brown Scheidel turns around, wrists it up into the air. It's knocked down by Wally Weir. Weir clears, and now Whalers Deneen back at his own end, cross ice to Brown Scheidel. Here comes Deneen, and Deneen winds up and bang. Oh my goodness, it comes off the boards, pulled Cooper, and hit the goal post. That was a close call, and what would have been a freak play. Clear down ice, and Brown Scheidel Works it ahead to Andre Heaty. Here comes Evans. Evans, the slot area. Evans, Rister, Cooper, the stick save. Back out comes Gertz for Baltimore. Gertz moving in. Lost the handle. It's loose in the slot. And the Whalers Shaw starts up ice with it. Shaw sending it in. Picked off, but they can't clear it. Evans in the slot. Evans a drive. That hit the crossbar. Evans had Cooper beaten and hit the crossbar. And it's finally clear to Whaler Ice. Moving back forward, Eve Baudouin. Baudouin to Brad Shaw. And the Whalers appear to be picking up the play now. Jimmy Thompson tried to sidestep there. Mitch Lamaru. And they are joined by two other players, Rissling and Mark Taylor, tied or in the lead in this hockey game. Right now, 5-3 Baltimore. And Lamaru is out against Mark Taylor. Faceoff comes to Yves Baudouin. Baudouin rolling it behind the net. And Chris Brandt in bristling tie up there. Now cleared to center. And a skate race between Lamaru and Shaw. 
And neither can win as Wally Weir has to come in to gain control. He's tied up behind the net. Centered. Taylor can't pull the trigger right in front. Now oh, his pass to Erickson. Erickson wrapped up by Baltimore's Wally Weir. And after Weir mugs Erickson in the corner, it's cleared by Rissling back down ice. In the Whaler zone, Shaw ahead to Erickson. Erickson skating in. Slipper. Cooper the glove save. And a bullet from Erickson right at the blue line. Back out the skipjacks come. Here comes Rissling. Rissling dumping in. They change on the fly as Rissling and company depart. Brown Scheidel feeding it back around the boards for Eve Baldwin. Now back to Brown Scheidel and Jack uh, standout game in Rochester and has taken over control on that defense here in the third period for Binghamton. Brown Scheidel deep in his own zone. Flipping it up the wall. And now taken by Baltimore's Colin Chin. Chin, a rookie, flipping it. <laughs> All right, eight and a half to go in regulation here. And the Whalers are trailing by two. Whalers clearing it as Deneen tried to send Evans breaking in a little too far for him. And on the air, if you can't make it for that one, it's 7.20 here on WNBF. Moving in at center for Baltimore is Dave Simpson. And with Simpson, he has at the right side Colton Chin, left side Bob Airy. And playing on defense row along with Hotham. Whalers win the draw. It's pulled back to Bloomquist to clear. Steen Everson has seen all kinds of ice time here in the third period. Now Fenton back for Bloomquist. And taken by Airy. Bob Airy moving back down across the Binghamton line, leaving it for Simpson. Now cleared out by defenseman Brad Shaw. And the first man to get to it is Greg Hotham back at his own end, who is able to flip it up and out. Bloomquist hustling back for it. Skip Jacks changing again on the go. And here come the Whalers down. It's Grant Martin leading the rush. Martin at the right circle, and he tried to wheel away from Weir, but Weir would have none of it. He was able to get a piece of the puck, tapping it free. Back out comes Sharpley. And Glenn Sharpley to center. Sharpley moving in. Sharpley at the left circle, feeding in front. Nice setup for Gill, but Gill could not get a good shot away. It uh, rolls off the backboards and cleared by Grant Martin. Back for it is Weir. He swings it around the boards and down to Binghamton territory. Still a 5-3 lead in favor of the Baltimore Skipjacks. 7-0-8 to go in regulation. Moving down to the red line, Mark Taylor. Taylor pops it in and Sharpley is there to take it away. Sharpley Sliding it off to Dean DeFazio. DeFazio cutting it over left wing. A slapper but wide. That rebounds off the glass. And played by Binghamton up and out. Andre Heaty tossing it down ice. First man to get to it is Wally Weir. Weir moving it back on the right wing. And in control there is Rob Geel. Geel wrapped up by Brown Scheidel. However, he is able to throw the puck deep to Whaler Ice. And cutting back to gain control of that one is the Whalers Baudouin. His mid-ice shot is head high. And Cooper... The goaltender for Baltimore comes up with a save. Now Heaty gets it in the slot. He tried to dump it down deeper into that slot, but blocked and then cleared by Rowe. Moving back for it, Timo Bloomquist. He can't find the handle. Ralston for Gatsos. Quick try from the right side of the cage. And Sidorkovic makes a save, and he holds on. So Sidorkovic. <sighs> And a reminder, you stay tuned for TalkNet coming up at 11 o'clock following our game tonight right here on 1290 WNBF. Whalers down by a pair, 5-3. The defensive lapses have cost them twice, and they are trying to battle back. It's Newberry flipping it in. Back to play it in the right corner of the attacking zone, Daryl Evans. And now 
Around the boards it goes. Gatsos looking to clear, but it's held in by Erickson, who stole it from it. Behind the net, Rowe. Rowe flipping it up. It's Deneen hustling back for it. Deneen fires it off the glass. And Lamaru gets it. His long shot nabbed by Sidorkovich in the glove hand. Jack Brown trying to hit behind the cage by Baltimore's Roger Belanger. And now the puck on the near wall while they we're holding it. Brown Shuttle chasing it down. Jack Brown Shuttle exhibiting some outstanding skating skills, spinning away from the skipjacks and now out racing Rislin. Brown Shuttle cutting it across the blue line. Brown Shuttle with the right circle trying a backhand and Weir blocked that. Now Brown Shuttle knocked down but gets a feed to the knee. His backhander trickles wide. Delay call here. It's again and a big part of the hockey game right here with a score of 5 3 Baltimore. You're listening to Binghamton Whalers Hockey. So Wally Weir is called for tripping at 1540 of this third period. And now, without a doubt, the key part of the game for the Whalers. They are down by two and need a power play right here. They are one of seven thus far in the power play department. As the Whalers expected, Baltimore has taken more than their share of penalties, but Binghamton has been unable to do a whole lot when they have had the man edge. 5-3 Baltimore. Binghamton man advantage. Here come the Whalers. And coming down across the blue line is Everson. Defended. Slipper right on. Blocker save Cooper. Jeff Evans and Brad Shaw. On the drop. It's rolling at the rim of the circle. And Carlson finally comes up with it. He remains an outstanding penalty killer. One of the best in the entire league. He can't clear though. Shaw steps into what a drive. And Cooper makes a save. And there's a big... On the faceoff, Baltimore wins it. And Hotham merely flips it off the left boards to clear the zone. Now Timo Bloomquist skating it down. Bloomquist headmanning it too far for Martin. Martin picks it up, though, off the boards. Here he comes, and Martin pulling up along the near wing. Into the corner it goes for Andre Heaty. Back at the point to Timo Bloomquist. Left circle, Baudouin, slapper, Cooper the stick save. At the point again, Bloomquist. Rolling it right corner. And the skipjacks, Carlson had a stick on it. Can't clear, but Lamaru gets it. And Mitch Lamaru is able to clear the zone. 40 seconds to go in the penalty. Here comes Timo Bloomquist. Bloomquist skating down into the zone. A pass for Heaty. Heaty at the fire circle. Checked by Dave Gertz. Heaty out muscles him. A point feed. Baudouin, slapper, Cooper, another stick save. At the near point, it's cleared off the stick of Bloomquist. Hotham, who bangs it up and out of the zone. Skip Jack's shorthanded work has been superb, and they have picked up one shorthanded goal. Rissling snapping one in back in the second period. Teams have traded goals here in the third, and Binghamton is trailing 5-3 with time running out in the Weir penalty, and he's back on. So Whalers held at bay again during the man advantage. And now in the Baltimore zone. It's played by Hotham. Hotham tapping it along the base of the backboard. Still has it. Now winds it off the glass. Up and out. Here comes Wally Weir. Weir and Shaw collide. And John Newberry gets a feed from Jack Brownscheidel. Row at the red line. Backhanding in. A one-hopper knocked aside by Sidorkovich. And up on right wing. Erickson leading it to Newberry. Newberry tried to center. But blocking that was Phil Bork. Now Row. Trying to clear out, but Newberry gets it. walking in, he scores! Bob Airy as they snuck behind the defense. Firing it home on the... Had uh, four goals coming into the game, but he has two here tonight, so he's going to have at least uh, six goals in his first three games. Final minute of play here in this one. And it's Bork who hammers it around the boards. On the right wing now, Simpson tossing it back to center ice. Grant Martin gets it there. Martin shoveling to center, knocked down by Airy, and Airy now bangs it in. Off the backboards, Brownscheidel gets it. Jack Brownscheidel circling the cage, and he starts out. One half minute to go. So Baltimore is going to come up with a victory here over the Whalers at the arena. Lamaru can't clear. Shaw's drive, and Cooper nabs that one, holding it on. Now dropping to row. He had held the puck on the blocker pad, then dropped it off. Center ice area, Brown Scheidel back to Shaw. 13 seconds remaining. 
Now neutralized, sped in by Taylor. Taylor has uh, two of the Whaler three scores. And down to three seconds here. Rowe gets it. Over.